Today is a very sad, sad day in Toddy's world because I just got two new puppies uh, and I named them Pebbles and Bam Bam, obviously from the Flintstones. And Pebbles had a problem where she kept uh, throwing up all her food. She couldn't keep it down. I always saw people, you know, like being so attached to their dogs and I was like, people are crazy about their dogs, like their kids. But after only having her for a week, I'm like already super attached to her. So I'm gonna be very sad to see her go, but it's for the best because she's just not feeling well. It's a very difficult decision. Kudos to anybody out there who's made this decision. I felt like, I, sh I was like, she can conquer anything, but at a certain point, you have to know what's best for the animal and she's not doing well, she's not happy. She's not getting to be a puppy like she should be. I don't need you to explain in like real like medical terms like what's wrong with her. Well, the problems in the esophagus, the esophagus is the connection between the mouth and the stomach. It's a muscle. The muscle isn't working. So it's most likely something that he was born with and that is, is preventing him. So every time that he eats some food or swallows, it stays in the esophagus and eventually he'll regurgitate it back up. So the problem is, is a congenital problem that doesn't have an easy fix. Um, so it's likely that he will bring, swallow the food and constantly regurgitate it up and, and he can lose weight, he can uh, get pneumonia. A few animals it will resolve with. Sometimes you can put a, a stomach tube in that you can feed them through the stomach tube, but uh, a lot of these just don't do well. So it's a real problem. That's well, that was officially one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make in life. It's very, very sad, um, but I think it'll be better for her in the long run. I think she had a blast while she was with us for the past two weeks. Thanks for supporting me. I will see y'all next time on Toddy's World. Peace.